Hey guys, it's Sylvia here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing Nomad Cosmetics Orient Express Eyeshadow Palette. I just want to let you guys know that this is not a first impression video. I've actually used this quite a bit for the past few weeks and I cannot wait to share with you my thoughts. So when the brand initially started showing little sneak peeks uh, throughout their social media about this eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna be honest, I got really excited. I love the theme, the whole like retro art deco vibe. I thought it was very interesting and it was kind of unique. And when they start showing the uh, different shades, like the, I believe they showed the blue one and then the red one as well. I was like super excited about getting this eyeshadow palette, right? So everything is going great and then eventually the brand did the full re reveal on their instagram and i remember looking at all the shades i wasn't really keen on the amount of like brown neutrals this eyeshadow pad had to offer and mind you the photos that they published were not very much detailed on the finish of the eyeshadows like i knew that there were some duochromes in here metallics and and the full mattes but i wasn't really sure which ones so when you would look at the picture online i personally like after seeing this eyeshadow palette in person i feel like the photos were not good enough for what you're actually getting i remember looked at it online and thinking oh wow why there's so many like beige nude shades and some of them look really very similar to each other you know so anyways but i was really still excited so i placed my order i really wanted this eyeshadow palette and i got it a few days later let me start with the packaging and then I will go over the formula because honestly, I am absolutely blown away by the quality of these eyeshadows. It's something I did not expect, honestly. I know I'm just too excited starting already talking about the uh, the shades and everything. But um, first, first things first, I want to talk about the packaging. I think the packaging is absolutely the cutest. It very much fits the whole uh, vision and the whole vibe of the release, which is the Rent Express retro you know art deco kind of thing so i think the packaging is beautiful it's high quality it's kind of like a velour very soft very cushiony so the day i got it i was so excited to start playing with it i was kind of like impressed with how beautiful the shades looked like in person and how many different finishes you're actually getting with it so long story short i open it and every single shade has the cutest little imprint that actually actually matches the whole idea the whole theme of the palette and i remember looking at it and i was like oh my gosh i have to take some pictures for my instagram because i will ruin it and that's the only thing that i was like really struggling with like using it because it looks so cute and pretty but anyways every single shade is completely different from each other i will you guys will see this in my live swatches at the end of the video first the matte formula in this eyeshadow palette is one of the best matte eyeshadows i've ever used they are so easy to work with and blend i was absolutely blown away for example these two um, the darkest brown here and this look so beautiful in the crease i actually have it on my eyes today and they blend with each other so nicely then this beautiful stunning blue shade this is such a gorgeous eyeshadow it applies very opaque it blends very nicely i actually did a look with the, all the blues and the whites in my previous video um not previous videos two videos ago i will link it up here if you guys want to check it out i'm wearing um the blues from this eyeshadow palette on my eyes so the white, I remember looking at the white eyeshadow and I'm like, ah, oh, you know why? Probably they could skip it. But this is a very opaque white eyeshadow. And this eyeshadow blends so nicely with any matte in this eyeshadow palette. So it's really, actually really an awesome shade. And I'm going to be honest with you, I've never really was a fan of like a white eyeshadow, matte eyeshadow. And whenever i would have it they used to go very sheer and i don't know i just never maybe saw the beauty of a opaque white matte eyeshadow and honestly after using uh, this eyeshadow powder i kind of fell in love with it i have it in my inner corners today and this is probably one of yeah one of the rare occasions when i'm wearing matte eyeshadow in my inner corners and i kind of love it i think it looks really cute and it blends nicely with the with the browns here so 
like I said, I'm very, very much impressed with the quality of the matte eyeshadows. Every single one, guys, every single one is amazing. It's the same formula. There's no patchiness. They feel very creamy. They feel very pigmented. I don't know. They just blend so nicely. I love it and I totally understand why they put so many neutrals here because honestly, this eyeshadow palette gives you so many different possibilities which is another thing that I have to mention that that's something I wasn't really expecting initially when I looked at it I was like okay but then I, as I tried to like swatch different eyeshadows like let's say this one London is so beautiful it has like a really pretty pink shift um, same with Paris Paris looks really pretty on the inner corner as well um, Venice has this gorgeous green oh I think it's a duochrome it has like a nice green shift and another one of my favorite honestly all of them are beautiful really they are gorgeous istanbul gorgeous yellow gold um simplon pass beautiful blue shimmer i could literally there's not an eyeshadow in here that i don't like and the only thing the only thing when i look at it and after i was like using it for a while the only thing i kind of miss is a black matte that's it but i know it's kind of weird thing with black eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes i feel like whenever they put it in there i'm just kind of like Ugh, you know black matte like why they put it they could put a different you know shade and i and i already have so many different black mattes that i really don't need this one necessarily in this eyeshadow palette but i just feel like that's the only thing i would maybe change but overall, it's a beautiful eyeshadow palette with very, very nice quality. And this is not the first palette from the brand. I also have the Antils. I think it's, I don't think it's, uh, you can get it any anymore. It was like a very colorful one. And I remember liking it, but I don't know. I just, I'm super impressed with this one. And like I said, the shades are gorgeous. Definitely check my live swatches at the end of the video because I wanted to just show you how creamy uh, all the shades are and overall I'm just very very happy with my purchase and I cannot wait to play with it more although I've already created so many different looks like I said I did the blue one uh, for one of the previous videos today I'm wearing nightcap baby grand in my crease and then I mixed up the Arlberg pass with Venice and the bar 3674 and then I have the white shade in my inner corners and I love how it turned out like it was so just simply effortless to work with these eyeshadows and I added like a really dramatic lash I hope it's not too much I have I don't know how it looks on the camera I hope it looks good but I just really wanted to have this like retro vibe going on so I added some matte lipstick here and uh, yeah I just wanted to go with the theme a little bit you know but um, anyways, I think it's a, a fantastic eyeshadow palette. Like I said, after they did the um, reveal, the full reveal on Instagram, I was kind of, like I said, I was kind of like, okay, well, I was expecting maybe something different. But then when I actually got this eyeshadow palette in the mail and I sat down and I played with all the shades, I was like, wow, this is this is a great eyeshadow palette. It's definitely one of my favorites as of recent eyeshadow palettes that I got. So I'm really excited about this one. All right, guys. So now it's time for the live swatches. Thank you so much for watching my review. Let me know what you think. If you already purchased it, if you agree with me, what would you do differently when it comes to the color selection? I personally am very happy with how it turned out. Honestly, the only other thing I would probably put here is just a black mat. That's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the live swatches. And I hope... Hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.